Welcome back to Spoken Word, where we let the word speak for itself. Today in this video, we're going to continue with the subject of women preaching, where the focus will be on the woman at the well, who is also known as the Samaritan woman. We're going to take a look and see what she was actually told and what she actually did, because if she preached to the people of Samaria after her encounter with Jesus, like some say, then it would be a great example of proof that women can in fact preach. It's time for the word to speak. So before I get started, please do me a favor. To help these videos reach more people, I really need your help. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing it. And if this video blesses you in any way, please leave a like because I truly believe that people need to hear this. Also, I really want to encourage you to keep an open mind about this topic and to not be so quick to reject the very scriptures that were given to save us because all scripture is breathed by God and I really hope you can hear his word. Let's get into it. So. The story of the Samaritan woman and the conversation she had with Jesus begins in John chapter 4 verses 1 through 47. This is one of the most popular and well-known stories in the Bible, even though many don't realize what it actually means. Maybe I'll break it down in the next video. But as we know, they talked about the living water that Jesus would give. They talked about her five husbands and the worship that everyone would be allowed to give. And if we pick it up at verse 25, it says, the woman said, I know that Messiah called Christ is coming. When he comes, he will explain everything to us. Then Jesus declared, I, the one speaking to you, I am he. Just then his disciples returned and were surprised to find him talking with a woman, but no one asked, what do you want? Or why are you talking with her? Then leaving her water jar, the woman went back to the town and said to the people, come see a man who told me everything I ever did. Could this be the Messiah? They came out of the town and made their way towards him. So if we look at what these verses said, nothing said that she was told anything. Jesus didn't give her any instructions and he didn't tell her that she was being elevated to ministry. All we see that happened during this conversation is that the disciples came and in her excitement, she left her water jar and went back to the town she came from. And when she got there, she told the people to come and see a man who told me about everything I ever did. This might be the Messiah. This makes me think of the time that my wife met a prophet in her hometown. He told her things that no one else could know. He told her things that forced her to believe and it moved her so much that she went and told others about him because she wanted them to experience him for themselves. But just like the Samaritan woman, she didn't go and preach that they needed to come. She simply shared her encounter with them and her words led them to want to see if it was true for themselves. Don't we see this everywhere in the New Testament? Jesus heals the blind, word spreads and people come. Jesus heals the lame, Word spreads and people come. Shoot, how do you think that Jesus was able to feed 5,000 men and the women and children with them? It wasn't because someone preached and told them to come. Because they didn't. It was because the news of his miracles was being spread and the people just had to see for themselves. But let me leave no room for doubt. If we continue reading from verse 39, we see that many of the Samaritans from that town believed in him because of the woman's what? Her testimony. He told me everything I ever did. So when the Samaritans came to him, they urged him to stay with them and he stayed two days. And because of his words, many more became believers. They said to the woman, we no longer believe just because of what you said. Now we have heard for ourselves and we know that this man really is the savior of the world. As we just read, the scripture was very clear. 
the people in the town believed in Jesus because of her testimony. This goes to show you that a woman does not need to preach in order for others to believe. I have said so, I have heard so many women say that I have to preach so that others can be saved. But the woman at the well shows that this isn't true. She is the perfect example and removes any excuse that a woman has to preach in order to win souls. And this is also why God isn't going to overlook disobedience. Because he's showing us that there are other ways that women can play a major role in people being saved. The people in her town didn't need a woman to preach. They needed to hear about what Jesus did for her. Think about it. She came to the well at noon, probably because no one would be there. So she wouldn't have to deal with the other woman talking about her. Remember, she had been married five times and the one she was with wasn't her husband. So she went from seemingly trying to avoid the people to now being so moved by her conversation with Christ that she is no longer worried about how she is being seen. And she is now willing to tell everybody or she now wants to tell everyone that she comes across that they have to come and see this man who told her about everything she ever did. You know she had to feel good. You know, it goes to show you that we focus on the wrong things. We let our past keep us in a place of shame when God can use us right where we are. God is responsible for saving souls, not us. All he needs is a willing vessel who in obedience will plant or water so that God can give the increase. I keep telling you that women are amazing. You are not being restricted. God chose to reveal himself first to a woman who had been possessed by seven demons. And he chose to help the people of Samaria believe based on the testimony of a woman who had been married five times. This is proof right here that God values women and that they are important to the body of Christ. And what people don't understand is that Jesus stopping in Samaria and talking with the woman at the well is what paved the way for the apostle Philip to go back to Samaria after Jesus died and rose again and offer salvation to the people. You truly never know how God will use you. So to wrap this up, women are instructed to testify just like the man and testifying isn't preaching. I said in the beginning of this video that I encourage you to keep an open mind and I pray that I was able to show you with the help of God that the woman at the well, who is also known as the Samaritan woman, didn't preach to the people. She testified. Thanks again for watching. This is Spoken Word with Jeremiah. If you still haven't subscribed or hit that like, please do so now. I appreciate it. People need to hear this.